Is swimming is a constitution still being practiced in your state, in your country, village, or probably continent? I still can't believe that these barbaric acts are still being carried out in some countries, states, today, and even here in Nigeria precisely. Anyway, guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, No Smav. I'm a new YouTuber here based in Nasaba Delta State. I know it's been quite some time you saw me here, just busy with um, resumption with school and other things. Anyway, guys, without wasting much of your time, let's dive right into it. Hello, guys, so you're welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we'll be talking about female genital mutilation, also called female circumcision. Now, what is female genital mutilation? Female genital mutilation is a partial or the total removal of the female external genital organ. Wow, isn't that barbaric? It doesn't, as I'm even talking about it, it sounds so wow. Anyway, guys, it's so sad that this art is still being carried out in our world today, even in Nigeria, as I'm speaking to you. Anyways, According to um, WHO, about 30 countries in Africa, East Asia, and um, even in the Middle East, still practice these barbaric arts. I still can't believe that this is going on. Well, for some people, it's for cultural reasons and for even non-therapeutic reasons, without no medical backup or without any medical claim to which this art is being carried out. I wonder why this, this is still being practiced. Anyways, let's look at the four types of this female genital mutilation now the female circumcision now we have the type one in the type one this involves the extinction of the purpose with or without the total or the partial removal of the clitoris and this type one is also called the sauna now the type two now the type two type of the female genital mutilation involves the extinction of the purpose the clitoris and with or without the um the libya uh, all or part of the libya minora now and this type 2 is also called clitoridectomy now in the type theory this type theory it involves the insertion of all the external female genitalia guys the external female genitalia comprises of the purpose the clitoris the libra majora libra menora the um the ure ure tribe also there imagine this uh, the insertion of all all of them and even many more isn't that at so 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 bad and so so barbaric anyways who are we some of these are their cultural practices their cultural beliefs and whatever anyways for the type four this type four is all oh, it's called it's unclassified and it's called gishiri now in this type four <laughs> this is this is i can't believe it in this type four type of the female genital mutilation it involves the culturization of the clitoris that's like burning of the of the clitoris involve even introducing corrosive substances to the to the to the um external genitalia piercing pre-cooling in fact whatever art kind of art you can think of is being done to the external genitalia in this type four i found that i find that that some people even do this for um i would like to say um uh, for aesthetic reason or for even for beautification Imagine maybe piercing the clitoris or um, even prickling the clitoris and even introducing corrosive substances. Isn't this art so, so, so bad? Anyways, guys, let's look at some of the reasons why this art is being carried out in some countries, in some states, and even in some cities. Now, the first reason there, they always tell you is that it's part of their cultural beliefs. Now, some of them believe that this is uh, a art that should be carried out on a on a young lady maybe in during childhood at birth or even before marriage some person self is still even being carried out during their first pregnancy and can you believe that the age range for this uh, female genital mutilation is between the age four to eight why in some cases even when a, a girl child is being born a newborn child this art also is being carried out um on this newborn child and to think that this procedure is being carried out with substances that are unsterilized unsterilized equipment and without any aseptic uh, techniques they involve using uh, maybe circumcision knives blades broken bottles and lots more and even getting herbs and they even also introduce into the vagina 
don't you think that this artist is 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 barbaric? Anyways, yeah. in the year two thousand and um, I think two thousand and um, fifteen or so, if I'm not mistaken, Ulog Jonathan Ebele, who was the president of, of Nigeria, passed a bill as of that year that anybody found guilty or anybody found carrying out this act of circumcising a girl child or a female child is liable how it has a fine of 200,000 naira and even um, a, uh, a four years imprisonment or in some cases even a four years imprisonment and also a fine of 200,000 naira both can still go in as a penalty for those persons that are carrying out at not only those carrying out that if you are even involved in such act you are still liable to pay this fine to me i feel that this is even quite um am i gonna say that like this is still very very mild as a as a, as a, as a punishment for these persons who still carry out this act in some countries you can go to five to uh, eight years in prison and still have a fine of about one million naira to still pay guys please stop this act if this act is being carried out in your country in your state the, the more awareness needs to be created this act needs to be abolished totally so i wonder why the government will pass such art and law and in some countries and in some villages this act is still being carried out as i said let's look at some of the reasons why this act is being carried out i talked about um for their cultural beliefs some of these people even see it as a rite of passage into adulthood meaning if you are not being circumcised as a female you have not yet entered into an adult. Imagine a full grown woman being carried and being circumcised. A part of the clitoris being chopped off or all of the clitoris being cut off. And guys, haven't you wondered what part of even this female external genitalia is being actually, is this art being carried out on? Um, the part of it being, uh, being cut or being tempered with. It's called the clitoral gland and this clitoral gland is the sensitive part of the external female genitalia like it's it's so sensitive it's not only the outward sensitive part but it's, it's it's very very sensitive that has a lot of tissues and other parts that even going to help you in, in enhancing sex imagine that this 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 part of it is being cut off and some people complain about during intercourse had their wife just lay down there on the bed without moving because that the part that's supposed to bring this sexual pleasure has been chopped off during our childhood or as we claim as a rite of passage into adulthood. Another reason is that they, they, they see it as a way to curtail promiscuity. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. According to Stigmus Ford, in his theory of psychosexual, uh, yeah, in his theory of psychosexual, he actually men mention when you have, I think, about five theories. Then the, there's a particular theory there that's the um the Anna stage in the um in this psychosexual theory. In the Anna stage, there, Stigmus Freud made us to understand that the age of um three three years, the child starts um playing with her her genitals. Like this is the age that this child starts learning potty training start learning how to like use uh, her potty now and at this age now this child or these children within this age range tend to like play with their genitals tend to follow with their genital organ as a sort of like deriving a, a, a pleasure from it so according to Sigmund Freud and according to research it is normal for that age Yes, because there are different stages of development so at that stage it is normal for them to like like to um, follow with their genitals or their with, yeah to follow with their genitals actually so now them saying that seeing it as a way of containing promiscuity is maybe seeing their child of within that age ring um following with their organs and they feel oh, this child is not circumcised that's why she's doing that please it is for that age that doesn't mean that when you see a child doing that you shouldn't correct that child correct that child but correct that child with love another reason is that they still see it as um um as a way of like um preparing you for marriage they still see it as an art of like preserving virginity guys lest i forget in the type four of the female uh, the type four type of the female genital mutilation which is called the gishiri do you know that even the incised clitoris is still being sutured leaving only a tiny passage for urine and even for menstruation you can imagine after cutting the clitoris you still went ahead to suture the um the the, the incised labia majora leaving only a tiny passage for urine 
and for um menstruation guys this art is 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 is, is barbaric please it's barbaric if it's being practiced in your state help stop it help curtail these practices help create awareness that this barbaric art should be stopped guys okay so let's look at some of what i say the the disadvantages or the side effect of this female genital mutilation on these women that this act are being carried on with now number one thing is that these women tend to be traumatized yes imagine a full-grown woman like me being laid down on the floor and all with adults around me saying that they want to circumcise me and the part of my clitoris is being chopped off now you don't do that so now you you you, you circumcise these full-grown women and they, in some cases they tend to even bleed sometimes they even bleed to death they are being traumatized they are in severe pain and because of this equipment, this unsterilized and 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 non ACFT technique being used can pro, pro, make them prone to infection, sepsis, can and have, it has been discovered that these women that are being circumcised that or have been circumcised tend to have difficult and prolonged labor. Yeah, some of them can even have uh, have, have laceration during child um, delivery. Some of them can even still suffer from um, painful intercourse, intercourse also known as dysphoria. So why is this act being still being practiced and still being carried out when it has a very great effect and disadvantages on these women in which this act is being carried out on? Anyways, guys, and it has actually been be discovered that these women who have suffered from uh, or who have like um, experienced this female genital mutilation tend to experience this rigidity of the of the vagina they tend to there is absence of of this of this sexual pleasure during during sex why because this clitoris that is the clitoral gland that is responsible for that is being chopped off why deprive these people of enjoying uh, a proper sex life why guys why so please if this art is still being carried out in your village is still being carried out in your city in your country help create awareness this awareness shouldn't only be created by only the healthcare personnel, by only the nurses, or only the doctors. Although this art is still being taught in antenatal classes, and also whenever we nurses have an opportunity to create awareness, we do, but we can't do it alone because we are only have limited access to some number of persons. Now, you watching this video, you help create awareness. Let people know that this is a barbaric art, and this is the art that is being punishable by the law. It should be abolished. It shouldn't be practiced anymore. Help us create this awareness. Let them know that there's a greater disadvantage of them performing this female circumcision on these children. Please, I forget. Do you know that one of also the major complications of this female child or this girl child that are being circumcised that some of them can actually bleed to death? Yeah. Do you do you want to lose your child? Even there have been number of cases that these children have been circumcised and they survive. There are still thousands of cases whereby these children being circumcised bleed and tend to die of infection. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment. I want to know your opinions about this female genital mutilation. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share this video, subscribe, help your girl to grow and also stay tuned for more interesting hair talk coming up please help stop female circumcision help this barbaric art stop thank you guys